Hi, I'm Dr. James Eaton. I'm a veterinarian here in Spanish Fork, Utah. I'm one of the uh, auction veterinarians for the state of Utah on private contract. Uh, we're responsible for the care and welfare of the animals at a livestock auction. Uh, there's a, an act called the Packers and Stockyards Act that mandates a veterinarian be at all livestock auctions. Our basic responsibilities are to make sure that the animals are free of infectious disease, also reasonably healthy, uh, are able to make it through the auction ring. Uh, we also provide the services of vaccinations for heifers if need be and also for pregnancy examination of the cows if, if uh, the owner so requ requests. And that's what the cows in the background have just had done. They've been checked to see if they were pregnant or not. Basically, it's a uh, four-year college degree in advance of going to and applying to veterinary school. Uh, subjects that are necessary are particularly science subjects, biology, chemistry, and math, uh, as well as general ed subjects. Um, it is a tough uh, profession to get in because of the li uh, limited number of veterinary schools in the United States, but it is a very rewarding profession, and, and quite honestly, uh, veterinarians are needed badly for food animal medicine right now and uh, taking care of uh, large animals. There's a there's a, almost a crisis with the, the number of veterinarians that are willing to work on livestock versus small animals. And so uh, it is a good profession to be in. Uh, it takes four years of veterinary school and then uh, usually they, they uh, acquire some advanced training somewhere through the means of internships, residencies, or uh, working with uh, larger private practices. I'm uh, Lanny Daybell. I work for the Depart Department of Agriculture as a brand inspector. Um, what does a brand inspector do? A brand, in, uh, all, most livestock is branded. Uh, the brand, such as on this cow right here, is registered to uh, a rancher. All ranchers have their own brands registered with the Department of Agriculture and Food. Our job is to make sure when they come to the livestock auction or are shipped on trucks out of state that the brand on the cow belongs to the rancher selling the livestock. And that's, that's our main concern. We also watch for sick livestock and coordinate with the vets um, to make them aware of any sickness that we see in herds of cattle. We, we ship thousands of cattle a year out of state and uh, we are just here to protect the rancher to make sure that his cattle aren't going on someone else's truck. You get to be outdoors a lot. And have yes, a yes, it's yep. a it's a really good job if you like the outdoors. The best thing about the job is the dealing with the ranchers. They are they're the most honest people I know of, and it's uh it's really enjoyable to work with good people. Hi, my name is Cody Hauft. I'm a dairy compliance officer with the Utah Department of Agriculture and Food. I'm here today doing a typical dairy barn inspection of a producer in a local area. The reason this is important is because we want to ensure the protection and safety of your food from the cow right to your table. This is a great job I have because I have a lot of variety. I inspect dairy plants and cheese plants as well as butter plants. It's a fun job. I have a lot of variety and never get bored. Today we're inspecting a local dairy barn to ensure the cleanliness of the cows, the milkers, make sure they're following proper procedures. Today we're seeing a, a typical 24-7 hour operation these guys only take one hour out of a 24-hour clock to clean the dairy. They have that many cows they have to milk. We just want to make sure that doing everything correctly, that the cows are clean, and the milk supply going to your home is clean. I have a bachelor's degree in animal science and a business administration. It helps a lot. <laughs> it helps to know what you're doing. We get a lot of instruction. We have a lot of training to do this job, and so it helps to be able to study and to learn. Oh, we have classes like chemistry classes, a lot of math classes, uh, animal science classes, animal husbandry classes, nutrition and food science classes, the whole gamut. My advice is if you uh, like a job where you're out and about quite a bit outside, uh, where you're out, um, you know, on your feet a lot, this is a great job. And you never get bored because there's so much variety to it. Hi, I'm Stan Akagi, and I work for the Utah Department of Agriculture here in the um, seed lab, which is part of the 
plant industry division. And I work as a seed analyst. And um, what, we're, what we do is we analyze seeds that are on the market and make sure that they're a good quality seed. So what are you doing and so today? So we do several tests. And one, the one that this one is is where this is a seed uh, analysis or a purity analysis test where we take a sample of the seed and we actually look through the seeds looking for contaminants such as um, weed seeds and uh, other crop seeds that might be in it and also dirt, stems, um, leaves, anything of that sort that might be in the seeds. And, um, in order to be a seed analyst uh, it's helpful to have a, a very good back background in um, plant sciences. Um, basic botany um, courses uh, prepare you to, of course, learn more about the structures of the seeds, the nature of the seed. Um, a college uh, education, um, taking courses in, in uh, plant sciences or botany are very helpful. Hey, hello, I'm Bill Eccleston. I'm a, a microbiologist for the Utah Department of Agriculture and Food. And I'm the supervisor of this lab. It's the dairy testing lab for the state of Utah. And one of our duties is to check all milk products that are produced in the state. And we check them for various tests. And the one I'm going to show you now is a, a, a standard play count and a coliform test that we run on every product that's produced how much bacteria is in the milk. So what we're going to do here first, we're going to make a simple dilution. Uh, this is an automatic pipetter. It draws up one mil of milk and we put it into a 99 mil dilution blank. drop a mil of the sample on this plate and then we take the side of the this little ridge plate here that makes a nice circle for us when we just press down. I have a BS degree in microbiology with a chemistry minor and I also have a public administration degree since I'm a supervisor I got a uh, master's degree in public administration. Go. This is one we did a couple days ago. And it showed what, what does that mean? That means that that bacteria times a one to 10 dilution on this one, there was three, so the count on that is gonna be 30 bacteria per mil, well below the standard. So the milk sample was good? Right. Okay. Right. Well, there's a lot of opportunities going into bio biology and science and uh, it's medical field, agricultural field, um, public health. We're here to make sure that uh, the products that are made in Utah are safe for the consuming public and that we uh, are just uh, happy to be able to serve the public and, and protect their, their food supply. My name is Yvette McQueen. I'm an analytical chemist for the Utah Department of Agriculture and Food. And I test nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, and potassium in fertilizers. And we also test feed samples. So when you go to Walmart or any other store and you buy some fertilizers or some pet foods or anything, we test to make sure that the, what's on the label is really what you're buying. I have a bachelor's degree in environmental science and a master's degree in soil chemistry. Do yes. You well, you have to have the a chemistry background, strong science, and a strong math background. Were you good at math? I, I was good at math. <laughs> I'm still good at math. <laughs> so I think it's fun because you're doing something different every day. Um, you know, this is only one of the tests that I run. I have about 10 different tests that we perform here. So it's something different every day. It's not sitting in a desk all day. and you, makes you think. You have to use your mind. <laughs> so it's fun. It's good. I enjoy it.